three different black women harmed by three black men. Toyin, 19-year-old activist in Florida, was sexually assaulted and murdered, and it was a 49-year-old black man who was the assailant. Just yesterday, I've seen a black woman get smacked in the face with a skateboard at the hands of a black man. And then I saw black men throw a black woman in the dumpster while laughing and recording them. We gotta protect them from us. We're the harm in there. And the Bible, we, we love to use the Bible when we're not even submitting to God. We, that scripture's talking about the man and his wife and first the man submitting to God and then the wife. You wanna be leader, but you don't even follow the Lord correctly. Well, let's take the Bible part out of it because most of us ain't living that part anyway. We really are saying we're only going to protect if you do this, this, that, and that regardless of how I lead. We're really asking these women who've given up everything just this week, their life and safety. When you listen and submit, I'm going to just tell you all this. That ain't flying over here. Not with Kevin Fredericks. Not with Kevin on stage studios. We are off of that. You won't see nobody who I rock with on any of that. I ain't never really been silent about this, but I'm gonna be more vocal than before. And not only am I about protecting black women, I'm about amplifying them. So when you start seeing my content, you start seeing more and more black women and more and more topics you're not used to, you're gonna know why. It's because of this. Black men, we have to do better. We are the ones hurting our women. They out here fighting for us with no expectation of the same thing and we out here harming them. And a lot of times in that video of the dumps, there was multiple black men in there. Nobody said, yo, this ain't cool. When that man smacked that black woman in the face with a skateboard and knocked her unconscious, his homeboys was behind him laughing and recording. We got to be better. You're going to see me being better. I hope I can see you being better. And if you're an accomplice to trash, you're trash. I want to give all yourself. the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, I want to give a sincere shalom to the elect, peace to the elect, uh, laborers, fellow laborers in sincerity and sound doctrine. Okay, um, I want to go on this video here that uh, I ran across from doing a prior video. And I said, well, I'll touch on this as well because, um, you know, we need to know who our enemies are. You know, a lot of us think that this man is in the system is just our enemy. Well, we got enemies on all levels. OK, anyway, this man says, and it, again, this is um, we do have sisters who follow the truth um, to the best of their ability. Right. So there will be women, some women who will get it. But there will be a lot of Jake who just don't get it. If these Jake so much love the black woman so much. You know, if you really love somebody, you will tell them uh, their fault, right? The scriptures say that, you know, like we do as brother to brother, you know, tell a man his fault and go to him and tell him his fault. We only go into the black woman and we're telling them their faults, right? And it's all hateful when we tell them about the truth. The scripture says, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, right? Anyway, this man, he, he talks about the uh, black woman getting smacked in the face with um, skateboards and beat down and uh, abused by black men or whatever. We're destroyed people. And secondly, these so-called, these same so-called black women has raised these young men. Some of them got mothers. So that, that should tell you right there. That there should be an outcry for the so-called black woman to reach out to other black women, right? Instead of an outcry to hop on board with the feminist movement and say, you're equal to a man. Because if you're equal to a man, why are we having these conversations? Just saying. He says, we got to protect the black woman. So what about the black children? They don't need protected. Last time I heard, the black men was killing themselves at an alarming rate in the streets. You mean to tell me we only supposed to target each other and kill each other as so-called blacks? Let all the little Negroes shoot and kill each other. But you better not harm the black woman. <laughs> that's, that's what he's saying. But I thought we were equal. Right? So we all must be protected. I don't know. 
I don't think a lot of us have really been protected uh, from the hands of this uh, creature, you know. He says the black woman is fighting for us in large numbers. I don't know where he got that from either. The black woman is fighting for us. Last time I checked, everybody went on. I heard the black woman say, you go, girl, get your job, get your career. Men ain't shit. This is all we hear. Okay, but I don't know. I'm just going to go to the scriptures. Isaiah 32 and 9. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And the Lord is speaking through us. We're telling you to rise up. Not you, just you black woman, you Latino woman, you Native American woman, you women that may look like other nations. We're telling you to rise up. And there's a duty that you uh, that you have. And that's to be a comfort to a husband, a man. Follow the truth. Okay, if you don't have a man yet or soon to be, who knows? But to be in order as a woman. You know, they don't teach that in school, what it is to be a woman. That's not taught either. You know what they teach? Pride. Woman pride. Stand up. Be strong. I hear a lot of these jakes. I want me a strong black woman. I heard that at camp. I said, I don't know about you, but I don't want no strong black woman. Where the hell you get that from? <laughs> I just want a soft, sweet, so-called woman in general. A woman that's, that's uh, feminine, soft. Sweet, caring, quiet, okay, nice. I don't want no strong black woman, you know, doing 50 push-ups and getting up and talking about let's go kickboxing. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know about all that. I know what they mean by strong, one that's independent and strong. Why would you want an independent woman? Nothing wrong with an independent woman if she's sharing some of that... Uh, and she's sharing the wealth with a man she cares about, which makes her not independent. You were not put here to be independent. You were put here to be with a man, and that's the society. And this man is helping push the doctrine. He's helping push that upliftment of the black woman. And the black woman, I don't know. He's saying to protect the black woman, but the black woman and every other woman and every other feminist say that we're all equal. So what the hell do they need to protect her for? I, I don't get that either. And the other um, double standard, well, we're equal, but then when somebody goes to break in the house, you're supposed to get up and go run to the front door and find out who's breaking in the house. But I thought we were equal. The tire gets flat. Uh-oh, you better do your job as a man and go check, jack up the car and change the flat. But you come in from work and you need something cooked. Uh-oh, the feminist flag going up. You can't cook because that's all we know for is cooking in the kitchen. When men cook in the kitchen too. I don't know. This is just the hypocrisy of this society, man. This society is wicked. Wicked on all levels. Secondly, um, I don't understand why these crazed women out there with these, uh, these uh, crazed men. Right? Well, let's get another scripture. I mean, always something comes to mind as I, I go along and go on a lesson. Okay, this is um, Sirach 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord, which I went through that scripture before. Okay, I just want to do a short commentary on this because uh, this place is out of control, man. This place has to go. There's nothing about uh, this guy is trying to fix something that's uh, unrepairable. He speaks of the Bible, but the Bible said in Matthew 10 and 34, and all the curses in Deuteronomy, right? And throughout the Bible, of what was going to happen to the children of Israel. Then he goes on to talk about us men, according to the Bible, he has a little beard on his face. He, <laughs> he's talking about according to the Bible, we have to uh, submit to the Lord, but he never really brings out the fact that a woman is supposed to submit to you, because if that is said, then that alleviates his old argument about uh, uh, we have to protect the woman because if we have to protect the woman that makes her not equal and that makes us the head of her so he knows he's going to get a backlash if he states that we are head of the black woman I don't know I'm pretty sure that's why he left that part out he's not going to say that 
Okay, so Rock 25 and 25, give the water no passage. Like water that goes, once you have a, a burst of water in a house or everywhere, it seeks down in every crack. It goes where it wants to go. It also says, neither give a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. So, as, as not having the fathers in a home, a lot of you women, and there are some strong mothers who stood up and did the best they could for their children. Their sons even, even. So it really is not an excuse as a mother not to be able to raise your son to the best of your ability. It's not an excuse. But you know what the excuse is given for the black woman? The father's not in the home. The father's no good. She looks at the son and says, the son, your father's no good. Then she uses the excuse. She takes all that anger she has on the father. She takes it out on the son. The son is neglected. And this is what you see in the street today. Why are these young men shooting and killing each other? Because of the neglection of the uh, the parents, right? Okay, it goes on to say, let me go to Titus. It says, but speak thou things which become of sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith and charity and patience. Is that happening? No, right? The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior and become of holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine. Not always talking about wine, but just drunkenness. Teachers of good things. Is that happening? No. Why is that not happening? Because we lost our, our identity. We lost our heritage. We believed the Christian church was going to uplift us. And all you had to do was believe in Jesus. And you would be good. So this is the uh, outcome of what you see of the behaviors of our people, even this young man. How is he really going to be respected saying that, man? The first thing he needs to make a campaign on if he's not in the truth. Well, all we care about is in the, what's going on in the truth. But just saying an example, he needs to make a campaign to the, to the uh, black woman to t talk to other black women and learn how to be good women in general. Okay? Get a righteous man. Don't go lay down with whoever the hell you want to lay down with because he looks cute. This thing, this place is not, nothing's going to clean up until the Most High come back and deliver us. Okay, it's not even worth the argument, to be honest. It says that they teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, <laughs> yeah, to love their children, <laughs> to be discreet, chase keepers at home. Right? These women, you see how they talk to men? Right? You see how they look at us when we walk through the supermarkets? I know as a man, I see young men. I see the way women walk and they look at you with their heads up. Right? The pride. Saying we are, we are um, like the scripture says about Babylon, I sit a queen. Well, the representatives of that is these uh, right here. Right? They sit a queen. Good, obedient to their own husbands. That the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. These people don't have the word of the Most High. So no matter what this guy do, no matter how much he buzzes his ass to try to protect the black woman, if he knew anything about the Bible, only the Most High can protect you. Right? The Spirit of the Lord can protect you. Right? Okay? Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. What do you expect going to happen? And all things shewing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, shewing uncorruptness, corruptness, corruptness, gravity, being grounded, sincerity, honest, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the, of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. So, this is a clear case, um, just going back into it, this is a clear case. Where well, this man needs some form of attention. He likes to be recognized by women. It makes him feel good to, to try to go out and make these videos on Twitter to protect the black woman. Right. And the so-called black woman is not in a position to be protected <laughs> unless she's following uh, the truth. Right. Unless she's following uh, the, the a man of the Lord. Or the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, she's trying to follow the truth to the best of her ability. That's the only way there's any kind of protection. I don't know what this man is talking about. 
it's maybe he just wants some attention. He likes the way it sounds. It sounds good. A lot of these guys do that. That's all that black conscience stuff, man. A lot of them do that. But a lot of these guys like this are the same ones behind on child support, are the same ones that have in the past laid down with women, threw them aside, hopped in the bed with other women, threw them aside, went and got another woman on here on Twitter trying to get other women to follow him so he can lay with them and get more popularity and get views and get uh, money, you know. All right, these jakes are phony, man. Also, I want to go on here. There's a there's a, there's somebody left a comment on there. <laughs> it was right on time. Might have been an Israelite. I don't know. Sounds like it. Somebody says black women will be protected when they listen and submit themselves to black men. Yeah. Also, when they, it, it, that's it. That's it. Ultimately, but first they have to cast off the pride. First they have to say, because I make more money than you, I'm better than you. You don't understand, a lot of these women don't understand who they got their power from and, and the whole agenda behind it. Why do they why are they doing better? Why do they have the jobs? I go in different businesses and different locations, you'll see nothing but women in there running the whole show. But then you go in the jobs that black men is, well, men in general are supposed to be in, somehow they got a black woman thing, uh, I mean a um a woman thing in there where women need to be involved as well. I don't know. I just want to touch on that. I think this man just, um, he wants attention. He loves attention from the black woman. A lot of these men have some low self-esteem, and this is what they do to get women to like them some kind of way. I don't know. That's all I have on that, Shalom.